night, mate. There we go. Sleepy wise. Wait, what the? Who the? You? You're a witch! Hello, hello. To Hitman 2 and the Golden Handshake mission set in New York City. And today we're going to take care of the leftover discoveries and feats, starting with the other Frank Redacted challenge for disguising ourselves as a bank robber. We will then move on to Peeping Tom for looking through a peephole in a bathroom. And then after that we will then move on to the applicant for disguising ourselves as the job applicant. And moving on from that one, since we have the outfit, we will go on to your hired for getting ourselves a job at the bank. From there we will move on to the I'm getting too old for this for knocking out the one day from retirement guard Frank, the other Frank. And then after that we will move on to the have you tried turning it off and on again for disabling the Wi-Fi in Athena's office. And as we've done that one we may as well take care of the IT individual uh, for disguising ourselves as the IT specialist. And we will be working our way through the mission collecting up the triple core challenge for obtaining all three parts of the data core. And we will finish off with Do You Even Care? The Redacted Challenge for shooting the lone pigeon around the teller hall. So for this one we will be bringing with us our ever trusty lockpick, a silenced pistol, some coins and we have a silenced sniping rifle stashed up in the executive uh, restroom or lounge. So right from the start, off the bat what we're going to do is make our way into the bank around to our left and we're going to lockpick the double doors just ahead of us just like we would normally except we're not going in we're gonna then run across the hall to the other side where we will find ourselves a bathroom we're gonna go in via this way to avoid the cameras but we won't be avoiding the cameras very much as we get spotted numerous times by the cameras on our journey so we're just gonna wait now for these two to have their conversation and when that has played out, the guard will leave and we can then proceed to knock out the bank worker. And there are two cubicles behind us, one of which is empty and one of which has two people in it and they are the bank robbers. And that's why we're in here basically. So the guard is now leaving. We have our coins in hand already, so once the guard has left we're just going to throw a coin over by the cubicle with the open door. That will distract the bank worker over to this area. We can then move in behind her, render her unconscious and hide her in the cloth crate behind us. So that's everyone out of our way now, we're going to retrieve our coin and we're now going to lockpick the door to the cubicle on the left but we want to move away from the door immediately afterwards so that we're not spotted we're going to throw a coin over by the mop and bucket over there that's going to distract one of the burglars into the area we're going to wait in the other cubicle and once she's collected that coin we're going to throw another coin over by the crate which will also get her attention Unfortunately the coin's gone behind the crate, so she doesn't find it. Don't be scared. I'm not but hurt it's you. had the desired effect anyway, so when she turns to move away, we can then get behind her, render her unconscious. We're going to grab everything that she drops. So we've got ourselves a crowbar, a knife and our coin back. We're going to hide her body in the canvas crate and we're going to try and retrieve our coin not always possible but today we've managed it so we're now just going to rinse and repeat the same coin trick to lure out the other bank robber although we don't have to make our way back into the cubicle for this one 
once the rubber comes out we can then pounce on him, render him unconscious, retrieve our coin and grab everything he drops, we don't need that, put that down. And we're going to drag his body back into the cubicle we lured him out of. And we're just going to leave him here. Now in this cubicle you will find a duffel bag on the toilet with a change of clothes in it. And that is the other Frank. So once you've got on the bank robber outfit, the other Frank redacted challenge will pop for you. We're just going to put back on our suit. And we're going to exit the bathroom area once we've closed the door behind us. And we're going to make our way back across the teller hall and in through the doors we unlocked at the start. So we need to duck in here quickly because we will be trespassing. We're going to pull out our silenced pistol and take care of the camera above the glass doors. Look to our right and we find a screwdriver. We're going to grab that screwdriver, that will come in handy later. And make our way along the corridor and out the door. And we're going to make our way up the stairs around to our left to the first floor bathroom. Uh, again, we have two cubicles to choose from. We're going to choose the left cubicle. And in here we find a pipe on the wall. We're going to rip that off, drop it on the floor. And we now have a peephole to look through. So that will get us the Peeping Tom challenge. And the man we were just peeping on is the job applicant. So we're just going to make our way across to the right hand cubicle and when the applicant goes to throw up in the toilet we can lockpick our way into the room, render the job applicant unconscious, we're going to leave his body in here, he shouldn't be found, we're going to take his outfit which will get us the applicant discovery or feet and we're going to exit the area. So with that we can now exit the bathroom, run straight down the corridor ahead of us to the reception desk where we will be guided towards our job interview. No, I think I saw him go into the bathroom. There is also a uh, mission story attached to this, which I did not trigger. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Let me know when he comes out. Will do. Thanks. Oh, there you are. Feeling better, I hope. Should I let HR know you're ready for the final interview? I feel like a new man. I'm ready. Wonderful. Follow me, please. It's right down here. So once we've spoken to the receptionist, she is going to lead us to the job interview. Ugh, please go away. You're so not in my league. That's right, dear. I'm several leagues above you. So we're going to make our way to the interview room, which is at the end of the hallway here. We have been spotted by our camera, but that will happen numerous times. Thomas, have a seat, please. Ah, Mr. Thomas. Good to so meet you. So we're going to take Kevin, a job interview. We're both with HR, and we will be guiding you through this last test. It's important to stress that there's no pass or fail here. It's merely a standard personality test meant to gauge how you'll fit into our corporate culture. All right. If you're ready, let's kick this off, okay? I'm ready. Okay, so this is a very simple test. All you do is pick a card and tell us what you see there. Now, it's important to point out that there are no right or wrong answers here. It's just to give us a better impression of who you are on a psychological level. Does that make sense? Yes, I'm ready. All right, Mr. Thomas, uh, let's proceed then. If you will, please pick the card that most conjures up the word opportunity. So at this point, we want to match up the pictures on the wall to the Warshack paintings this one. All right. on the desk. Now look at it closely. Take a few moments, then tell me. So the first one will be the an eagle. Or an object. Animal. I see. What kind of animal? A bird. An eagle, perhaps. An eagle. Very now that the eagle is the a middle card. Animal. Anything else? It's feeding on something. Feeding? On what? A carcass. The scene is reflected in a pool of blood flowing from the body. It's a vulture feeding on someone else's kill. That's very graphic, Mr. Thomas. Yes. Brutal, even. Right. Mm, very interesting observation, Mr. Thomas. Not what we expected, but, but that's perfectly fine. Let's take the next one, shall we? Pick any of the remaining cards that make you think of execution, please. 
So execution is the arrows and the bullseye, which is the picture on the right, I'll on the left. this one. Good choice. Tell me, what is the first thing you see here? Just the very first thing that comes to mind. I see a figure in a large coat. Perspective mm -hmm. skewed, as if I'm looking at him from the ground. He's got something in his hands. I, uh, go on. He's armed. Dual firearms. Large caliber pistols. I see. What else do you see? He's just finished a job. Perfectly executed. And who is this man? It's me. Very, very interesting, Mr. Thomas. Well, that's a very creative interpretation, Mr. Thomas. Uh, I think we've just got time for the last card. Please proceed. Uh, this last card should hopefully make you think of prosperity. So, Prosperity is the last card. Uh, it's the one on the right for us, okay. and it's on oh, the left on good. the wall behind them. This is them. an interesting one. What do you see here? Take in the whole image, please, and in as much detail as possible, tell me what this reminds you of. Wealth. Hmm. Can you elaborate on that? I see a big pile of money earned performing questionable actions. And how do you feel about that? Bending the rules of the game. It's what I do. Very good, Mr. Thomas. Well, I have to say, that was very impressive, Mr. Thomas. With your cutthroat approach and killer instinct, I think you'll fit right in with Milton Fitzpatrick. Wouldn't you say so, Melissa? I couldn't agree more, Kevin. Mr. Thomas, allow me to congratulate you on your new position as an investment banker here at Milton Fitzpatrick. Thank you. When do I start? <laughs> well, aren't you an eager beaver? Well, we expect you to come in tomorrow at 8. Welcome on board, Mr. Thomas. You know what? If you want, feel free to have a look around the bank. You've got clearance all the way to the top. Get to know the place. Just don't go into the CEO's office. We don't want to lose you on your first day. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure you can see yourself out, Mr. Thomas. Have a nice day. So that will get us the your hired discovery or feat. And we can now move on. And we are going to now go and collect our first part of the data core. So we're going to make our way out of the room down to our left. At the end of the corridor we have a camera. We're going to take that camera out because we will be doing nefarious deeds around this area. And around the corner to our right we will find the fired worker and the guard. And we need both of these guys out of our way. My timing stinks. So what we're going to do is make our way into the janitor's little room here. We're going to open the door and throw the crowbar we've collected at the filing cabinet or wall closet that we have there. That's going to get the attention of the fired worker and he will send the guard in to investigate. And we can just close the door behind him when he does, render him unconscious. We're going to grab his gun, that will come in handy later and we're going to hide his body in the cupboard provided. So with that taken care of, we can now take care of the fired worker. So we're just going to exit the janitor's room and we're going to wait for the fired worker to make his way over and drink from this water bottle on these boxes. And at that point we can maneuver in behind him, render him unconscious and hide his body in the closet in the janitor's room. Now as I've mentioned a couple of times this is the janitor's room and the janitor will come into this room and we're not done filling it with bodies so we need to get rid of the janitor who we are just running past now. And the way to do that is make our way along the corridor we're going to turn off the radio, uh, radio on the cleaning trolley and we're going to wait around the corner by the stairs. Uh, the janitor will come over to investigate and while he is doing so he will be an enforcer which is why we're hiding but once he comes over to the radio we can then sneak up behind him let him turn the radio back on and then we're just going to pounce on him render him unconscious and hide his body in the closet provided so with him out of our way he's not going to discover any bodies and we can make our way back round to where the fired worker was and we're going to close the double doors at the foot of the stairs here select our crowbar once again 
we're going to make our way halfway up this flight of stairs and I'm not going to lie to you, we're in for the first of a number of very, very long waits. I believe this one takes about six minutes for me. Uh, the, the next two people we're taking out have very large, long routines. And this, this spot basically is the best place to get both of them. So what we're waiting for is one of the uh, data core holders. He will eventually come down the stairs past us and when he does we can use our crowbar to render him unconscious collect up everything he drops which will be our first data core piece and we're going to drag his body into the janitor's room so one long wait over which I said for, for me was about six minutes real time we're going to make our way through the doors we closed at the foot of the stairs and halfway back down the corridor towards the job interview room and we're just going to wait by one of these paintings here and this time we're going to be waiting for me it was about four minutes of, of real time before Frank the retiring guard makes his way along this corridor completely isolated so as he passes us we're just going to target him with our crowbar render him unconscious we're going to collect up everything that he drops because he has a number of key cards that will come in handy retrieve our crowbar and we are going to drag his body to the janitor's room as well right past his buddies there so that will get us the I'm getting too old for this challenge and once we have his body safely tucked up we can now proceed on to the executive floor where the investment bankers and the uh, CEO's office is so we're going to make our way all the way up all the way around the security office ignore the cameras we're going to make our way up to Athena's office or outer reception area and at the top of the stairs once we're into reception we're going to hang our right and around into this boardroom and in here on the wall we will find one of them clever little buttons that turns the windows opaque and we're just gonna block out everyone's view in and out that will cause the guard uh, who was looking in to vacate the area and we're now waiting right here for that guy there Mr. Man to make his way up these stairs so the camera on the wall needs to go and once that's taken care of we can then select a coin, we're going to place a coin on the floor by the plant pot here and we're going to wait for Mr. Man to make his way up the stairs. As you can see we have just missed him. He has a very short route, he only goes out of that door, makes a phone call really and comes back. I don't even think he makes a phone call, he just checks his phone. But when he comes back he will spot that coin and when he goes over to collect the coin we can then render him unconscious and collect up everything he drops which will be our second piece of the data core so two down one to go and Athena the CEO is holding the last piece we need so we're going to make our way back to the reception area and around the side of reception and we're going to go into Athena's private little rest area. We're going to lockpick our way through the door with the key card we collected. And at the far end of the room, we will find a modem. We are going to turn off that modem. Just checking my sniping rifle is where I wanted it. And that will disable the Wi Fi for Athena's office. And eventually, Athena will come along and she will notice the Wi Fi is not working. Isn't this working? Oh, bloody hell! Tim! Tim! Get IT up here, right now! So, once Athena has called for the IT department, we are going to make our way over to the far end of the room where the coffee machine is. We're going to pick up the apricot, off of the 
side where the coffee machine is. We're going to make our way into the cupboard and we will be in for our long wait again. But while we're in the cupboard, the have you turned it on and off again challenge will pop for us. Eventually, after a long, long wait, someone from IT will come up to investigate. They will go to the laptop first, but they will make their way eventually to the modem when we can exit the closet, close the door behind them, render them unconscious, and we're going to drag their body and hide them in the closet we've been hiding in for the last five or six minutes. So with that taken care of, and putting on his outfit will get us the IT individual challenge, discovery or feat. We're now in for the long slog. So I recommend whilst you're waiting in that cupboard to drop a save. But we are going to select the gun we collected earlier. We're going to exit into Athena's office and we're going to drop the gun just on the floor behind those two desks there. We're going to select our apricot. We're going to make our way behind the large sofa and this is where things get somewhat tricky because we really need to time this quite well and it's very difficult to do. But we're going to take our apricot and throw it over by the gun to attract the attention of one of the guards. And we want this guard to be leaving the room whilst Say, Athena's what? in her private sanctum. Which would then Why give would us enough time like to take behind. out the other guard. Unfortunately, my timing has absolutely stunk, and by the time the guard goes to leave, Athena's already leaving her inner sanctum, so we don't have enough time to take out the other guard. So instead, what we're going to do is make our way to where we drop the gun, and take out the camera above the, the door to Athena's private sanctum there. And what we'll have to do now is reset our gun trap, and try again. So we've got a bit of a weight in our hands here as well because we need to wait obviously for that guard to take the gun away downstairs and for Athena to leave. Now you notice I'm not trespassing and there are no enforcers but I'm still hiding because if Athena sees us she will break her routine to tell us to fix her computer and we don't want her routine broken. So every time she's in the area, we want to be out of sight. Just so that we don't interrupt things any further. So hopefully the guard will be returning very, very shortly. And we can then reset our trap. So he should be well on his way back up here now. There he is. So we can now reset our trap. So luckily we have an Uzi on us which we can drop on the floor here, luckily thanks to the bank robbers on the ground floor. So we're going to place the Uzi where we placed our handgun, and we're going to try and time this a little bit better. As you can see, Athena is in her office already, so we need to wait for her to leave and then make her way back in there. And before she goes in there, we want to throw our coin and distract one of the guards. Like I said, we need the guard to be leaving the room with the gun at roughly the same time that Athena makes her way into her inner sanctum. And it can be quite tricky because there are like eight sets or four sets of eyes, eight eyes in total, in this area. It's very tricky to do this. But it is the safest option if not the longest so once Athena was? has gone into Go the boardroom okay, I'm gonna throw the coin now and hopefully by the time the guard goes over investigates picks up the gun and goes to leave Athena should be making what her way what towards her this? sanctum and that will give us an opportunity to take out the other guard in the room now, unfortunately for me, I was hoping to attract the guard directly ahead of us who controls the two pillars Never of the room. Because the other guard who has just left is much easier to get behind. But it hasn't worked out that way for us. So Athena is now making her way into her inner sanctum. We are going to get ourselves in position behind the other guard. He's going to 
move from this position to the other post of, on the other side of the room and as, as he moves away we want to get behind him quickly as we can and render him unconscious and get his body in the crate provided before either Athena comes back or the other guard. Don't forget we do have another guard to deal with still. But once we've got this done, things will get a lot simpler. So with that taken care of, all we've got to do now is make our way back to the sofa, wait for the other guard to return. And there he is downstairs with the question mark above his head. He's gonna come back and collect this coin unless we get it first. So all we've got to do now basically is wait for everybody to be back in position. So in the meantime, I'm gonna set a coin on here. You don't have to do this. This is just an extra option for killing Athena. It's not the option I eventually choose. So we could smash her head into that memorabilia, uh, that award that she has on the mantelpiece there. So we're just going to wait once again for everyone to get back into their normal routine and positions. So the guard's going to take up position by the clock here. We're going to wait for Athena and her personal bodyguard to leave the area. And we can then take out the other guard in the office. So Athena will approach the clock and because we haven't fixed the Wi-Fi, she won't go to her desk, she should go straight to her inner sanctum. And once her and her bodyguard both have their backs turned to us and are a relatively good distance away, we can pounce on the guard and we can hide him with his co-worker in the crate provided. Like I said, this is not the fastest of methods, but it is a relatively safe one. And we do need everybody out of this room technically. That's mostly for the do you even care challenge, really. I highly recommend just busting in the front door and shooting everyone in the head. It's a lot, lot quicker, but you will lose your silent assassin rating. So once the guard is safely unconscious and stashed in the box, we're gonna make our way into the inner sanctum and hide behind the curtain here until Athena leaves. And we can exit our hidey hole, get behind her personal bodyguard, we're going to wait for Athena to get a safe distance before pouncing on him. Render him unconscious. Grab his gun and the key he drops. And we're going to hide his body in the crate provided. So once he's safely tucked up, we're going to make our way directly into the inner sanctum using the key we've collected. We're going to collect the CEO exit key. And we're going to finally take care of the surveillance system reinstating our silent assassin rating so all that's left to do now basically is go into the office someone manages to drag themselves from the IT dungeon now listen to me carefully I don't want to hear any excuses or answer any questions just fix my computer and get out yes ma'am right away your highness we ain't fixing nothing, except maybe your little red wagon. So what we're going to do now basically is wait for Athena once again to go through her routine where she will lean against the clock, she will make her way to the inner sanctum, and at this point we can utilize the screwdriver we collected very much earlier on in the level by tampering with the glass of the clock. So the next time Athena comes around this way on her routine, she will fall through the clock window. In the meantime, we're gonna go back into this little rest area, green room, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna retrieve our silence pistol, uh, our silence sniping rifle, sorry. And we're gonna hide this behind the sofa that we've spent so much time behind. Just so we don't have to run into the green room at the end. So all we've got to do now basically is wait for Athena to make her way back here and lean against the clock face. And when she does, we can then collect up the third and final part of the data core. Look at them down there. Bye Athena. Oh, 
so that takes care of our primary target can't quite see her from here so we're going to collect up the data core and that will get us the triple core challenge we're now going to go and retrieve our sniping rifle and we have a nice open window with which to take our shots from or in this case I'm unbelievably surprised to say it only took one shot sometimes I can empty the whole clip trying to do this but as we zoom in to the far side of the bank you will notice a pigeon flapping and flying around so we are going to line up our shot basically so that we have the most exposure to the pigeon as you can see I'm going to let it fly past a few times while I fine tune my aiming and we shoot the pigeon and that will get us the do you even care challenge so that's all of our challenges today taken care of we're now going to make our way back into the green room replace our silenced sniping rifle and make good our escape so we're going to take the CEO exit as it is the nearest exit to us so out of the reception area down the stairs and just on our left we find our exit so there you go that is all of the redacted feats challenges and discoveries taken care of I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video